Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss a very important problem on quantum mechanics, basically on the quantum harmonic oscillator. Okay, so you can see the problem. The normalized ground state wave function of a one-dimensional quantum harmonic oscillator with the force constant k and mass m is defined. So what is defined? Here psi naught is equals to psi naught of x, the ground state wave function of a quantum harmonic oscillator. As we all know this, alpha divided by pi whole to the power 1 by 4 e to the power minus alpha x square alpha x square divided by 2. Now it is asked that where all the things are defined. Now which one of the following is the probability of finding the particle outside the classically allowed region, right? So for this, you have to understand that what is the classically allowed region. Now, what is the classically allowed region? That means we have to go back to our classical mechanics. So remind that, remember, in our classical mechanics, so the potential is like this, right? Overall like this. So this is the curve of potential energy, suppose V of X or simply potential energy. So, so, and this is X, the positions. Now, if we have a particle whose energy line is like this, that is, if we have a particle which is moving, whose energy is E, that means this is the energy, this is what the energy of that particle, total energy of that particle. And this is the potential energy curve, that means that each point of this potential energy curve denotes our potential energy at that point. For this point, suppose the potential energy is this, of that particle, and the total energy is always this, constant. So, for the region down below the uh, total energy line, that is in this region, right, in this region, you can understand that for any point, the, this line is less than this, that means the potential energy, this is what the potential energy, this point means, the potential energy is less than the total energy. So, there is no problem. Why not? You will understand later. Now, if we take a point above this line, then what happens? If we take a point here, suppose, so here, uh, this is, suppose this point. So here, this is, this line is greater than this. That means here, our potential energy, this is the potential energy. Potential energy here is greater than the total energy. Now, total energy can be, I can write total energy like potential energy plus kinetic energy. So from here, from this, I can write, from this, I can write the kinetic energy is less than 1. That means kinetic energy is, uh, sorry, less than 1, not less than 0. When we uh, take the potential energy here, these two terms will be cancelled, here will be 0. So this will be kinetic energy is negative. But we know that the kinetic energy, as the kinetic energy is the velocity square, so kinetic energy can never be equals to negative. Kinetic energy is always greater than zero, always positive quantity. So this is classically forbidden region. So we call this region above the potent above the energy line the classically forbidden region. So this is our classically forbidden region. And in this question, it is asked we have to find the probability of that particle in classically uh, unallowed region. I think outside the classically allowed region. Classically, uh, a probability of finding the particle outside the classically allowed region. So outside the classically allowed region means this region, unallowed region. Now, in our quantum harmonic oscillator, the potential energy is what? A half m omega square x square. So half m omega square x square to find that limit, to found, find this boundary as when we find the probability then we have to done what? Uh, psi star psi, right? Psi star psi into dx. We have to ultimately do this thing. Now here we have to uh, put the limits. So the limits will be what? From a point to infinity. That is from that boundary point from where the region is started. That is this point. I think that you can understand that. So half m omega square x square, if we uh, equate this with the total energy, total energy in uh, QHO, that is quantum harmonic oscillator is what? N plus 1 h cut omega. Now here it is 
given the uh, ground state energy of the system ground state wave function so n plus half uh, n plus 1 h cut omega so we'll get the uh, ground state energy h cut omega divided by 2 that means from here uh, we will get the value of x is equals to h cross divided by m omega not suppose so <coughs> root over right that means the lower limit will be h cross omega h cross divided by m omega naught as this is this point so the, this will be from this region from this point to infinity the classically unallowed region this that means infinity so this is our limit and we have to find this probability probability so this will be answer if we calculate this probability now what will be this so i am just cleaning the board to calculate this now when we integrate this we have to understand that when we have i have drawn the the figure that then this was our energy so we have only calculated the limit uh, right the limit for the uh, for this region right for positive but remind that there have to be a plus minus sign before h cut divided by m omega naught when we square root that right i think that you can understand that x should be equals to plus minus of h cut divided by omega naught you can easily understand that from physical point of view one point is the for the classically unallowed unallowed region one point is one boundary is this and another boundary is this so one is positive h cut by m omega and another is negative h cut by <coughs> m omega right so there is a plus minus sign right or otherwise i can also write this like this as the as this is symmetric as this potential half m omega square x square is a symmetric potential so the probability of finding that particle in the right side will be same as that in the left side that means for the plus sign for the plus limit the probability will be a amount and this, that will be the same amount when you calculate that for the minus sign with minus sign so so for that i am just uh, multiplying it with 2 and just putting the limit root over putting only the positive limit as the limit as the uh, solution result will be same so i have just multiplied it with 2 so uh, h cut divided by m omega naught and here this will be infinity and there as this psi star psi that means the complex conjugate of this as here it is there is no i or iota you can see so the complex conjugate of this will be same as of this this will be same like psi so this gradually becomes the psi square that means alpha divided by pi whole to the power 1 by 2 e to the power minus alpha x square into dx so we have to integrate this now <clears throat> looking into the options you can understand that in the options there is a term like e to the power minus y square and we have to and here we have what e to the power minus alpha x square so we have to omit this constant so for that we have to uh, assume that or we have to put this as another variable as we solve in integration in the method of integrations alpha x square let alpha x square is equals to our y square okay <clears throat> now what is alpha it is given in the question that uh, alpha is equals to m omega naught by h square alpha is equals to m omega naught divided by h square right now differentiating this equation this thing we got that alpha into x dx is equals to y dy right so from here i can write alpha or i can write simply dx is equals to y dy divided by this will be uh, alpha x and x means okay alpha and x means y divided by root alpha means this will be root alpha 
okay and this y will be cancelled out and this will be only dy divided by root alpha so from here this will be 2 alpha by pi whole to the power half this will be integration and this limit the infinity limit will be same when we convert this <coughs> variable but the lower limit when we put this means y is equals to y is equals to root alpha into x so we put when when we put the limit x that is h cut divided by m omega not its root and the value of alpha root alpha will be what this is alpha so root alpha will be m omega not divided by h cut so these two will be cancelled out and this will be one that means the lower limit now will be one and the upper limit will be infinity so this will be e to the power minus this is converted to y square e to the power y square into dx dx means dy divided by root alpha root alpha will be taken outside the integration so uh, here it is root alpha right so you can easily understand that from here it will be 2 divided by root pi integration 1 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy right and you can understand that one option is matched matched and the option is our option number b so our option number b is math and this is our answer so i think that you have understand the concepts behind this uh, problem so if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming various conceptual classes of physics so take care of yourself thanks for watching